The journey of a river. Oceans and seas are always full to the brim, but where does the water come from? Let's take a journey from source to sea to find out. Source. The start of our river journey, high up in the mountains and hills, is called the source. Sometimes the water source is a natural spring where water bubbles up from deep underground. Often the source is rainwater and melting snow, running downhill, gathering speed as it goes. Upper course. This first part of a river's journey is called the upper course. As water rushes downhill, it flows over rocks and boulders, dragging them along with it down the steep slope. Over many years, water carves paths into the rock beneath it, creating streams and rivers. If the rock is soft, it can wear away so much that huge valleys and canyons are formed. Waterfalls. Waterfalls are formed in places where hard rock meets soft rock. The soft rock wears away quickly, but the hard rock takes much longer to erode and ends up being much higher up than the soft rock. Middle course. The river slows down when it reaches flatter ground. This is called the middle course. Rather than flowing in a straight line, natural erosion causes a river to meander, bending and looping through the countryside. Tributaries. Rivers and streams join together along the way. They eventually form larger, wider rivers. Small rivers that feed into bigger rivers are called tributaries. Lower course. Eventually, the river reaches the lower course. The river often widens out into estuaries or deltas where sediment, sand, soil and rock carried many miles by the river builds up. The sediment slows the water down and provides a rich source of nutrients for plants and animals. The end of the river where it flows into the ocean or sea is called the river mouth.